And rights activists in Osho State have appealed to President Bola Tinobu not to deviate from the hope agenda of late MK Wabiola towards making life comfortable for Nigerians. Rafi Hamad reports. It started with a procession organized by the Osho Civil Society Coalition. From Mayituru to Ibona, Old Garage and Popular Olaya Junction, where they addressed the people. They should press up to face the challenge of insecurity, the hunger, and uh, the threat to our life. Nigerian people are not happy, and that is simply the simple aspect of it. Government should press up to make sure that they provide security for the life and property of, of the citizens. From there, they proceeded to the venue of the Democracy Day lecture. The guest speaker says June 12 remains a significant day in the history of Nigeria. Let me commend the former president of Nigeria, General Muhammadu Buhari, who acknowledged that June 12 should become a national day. In terms of people who are regionalizing or say that the joint belongs to the Southwest, but today it has become a national thing. I think he has done well in that direction. A former Labour leader, Comrade Azan Sumanu, warned government against policies and programs that could have negative effects on Nigerians. Warning, you are sounding a note of warning to our government to drop IMF World Bank social adjustment program in order to concentrate on you know, taking care of the socio-economic needs of the Nigerian people. But the Nigerian people voted for them, not IMF, not World Bank. Secretary to the Osho State Government solicit support of Nigerians in nurturing the nation's democracy. We are of men and women who are sacrificed so precious so that our nation can be free for dictatorship and autocracy. But for their frontier action, for their sweat, for their incarceration, for the spirit of their book of love, we will not be enjoying the current much valued freedom and democratic space. Rafiul Hamid, TVC News, Shibu. There are fundamental.